Hello friend, in this video, I am going to show you how to resolve the git conflict in an efficient way. You might be aware there are multiple ways to handle the git conflicts, but do you know what is the best way to do that? So I am going to show you that in this video. So I have a very simple Angular application like this where I just have an, a list of uh, navigation items here. And uh, for that, I have a source code present on my git and I'm going to create a conflict intentionally and going to resolve it. So before it, let's try to understand what is the git conflicts and when they occur. So git can handle most of the merges on its own. So the conflicts occurs when you are trying to merge or two branches, when you are trying to merge one branch into another, that time conflict occurs and git has its internal merging strategy, merging algorithm. But when there is a file on a, in, in that file, a changes has occurred on the same line, that time git cannot decide which change to pick and it's confused and there it needs a, or intervention to decide which changes to pick it can happen not just for the file edit but if you have deleted some files that time also git conflicts can occur in my case i have a main branch and i have created a feature branch which has been created from a main as a base branch so currently i have a same code on both of the branches so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to create a conflict intentionally so first thing i will do is i will uh, as you can see i'm on a feature branch I will do some changes here. So instead of activity history, I will change this to a work history and I will commit this. My message will be change nav item. I will stage it. Git commit hyphen name and there goes my message. So I have committed it and will push it. So now I have made a change to my feature branch and now I will check out to the main branch. And uh, as you can see on the main branch, I still have the activity history. So there I will change something to uh, rating history. And uh, again, I will add this and uh, commit this to a main branch. Now what we have is a very interesting situation. We have created a feature branch considering a main as a base branch and now a changes has offered to a main branch it has a one a commit that is ahead of the feature branch and feature has also changed some uh, some of its content now what we will do is uh, we will create one pull request and that pull request will be from feature branch to a main branch so again let's go to uh, github and uh, from there i will create a pull request so i can i'll go to a pull request new pull request and there I will keep a feature branch and uh, as a compare and uh, as you can see that it says can't automatically merge so I will create a pull request and then it will show that it has some conflicts inside it. So there we go it, it has reported and it says that the, the branch has conflicts that must be resolved. Now what is the conflict? The conflicts are in this file so we can see here and uh, now we have to resolve this conflict. So first I'm going to tell you the most common way that majority of people are familiar with, but there is one drawback, there's one disadvantage. So in order to resolve the conflict, if you go, even the GitHub will tell you what are the things that you have to do. I'm on a main branch, as you can see here, I will do a git pull origin main. Then second is git checkout feature. So now I have, I'm on a feature branch and I have a main branch code here also. Now here I do an actual merging and that is with a merge command. So git merge main. Uh, so syntax of merge command is you provide a branch name that you want to merge into your current branch. So in this case, the main branch will be merged into your feature branch. So we do that. And uh, now here it says that there are the conflicts and uh, now we have to resolve a conflict. And this is where we have a conflict uh on a main branch it is rating history and on a feature branch we have work history so that's what it says that's what it means by current changes and the uh, incoming changes now you can uh, click on here to do and whether you can click here to decide whether you want a current changes or you want uh, uh incoming changes and you can also do something like if you don't want any of this or if you want to add something new so you can uh, do that also by by editing a file here so let's say i say i don't want work i don't want either work history or rating history i want log history so i can add it here and uh, will so i can do something like uh, i can edit the files here i will delete that both of it and will add something a uh, log history now after this i have to again do a git add and uh, followed by git commit type m resolve conflicts 
and uh, git push hyphen f so with this uh, we are able to resolve the conflict and if we go to uh, github this time uh, it will not show a conflict if i refresh this now i don't have a conflict because i have handled it so this was a way to handle a conflict but uh, there is one drawback with this approach if you go to a uh, commits you can see that uh, we have a commit of the resolved conflicts we have the commit of our actual change that we did and uh, now if we if i have to uh, if i do a merge of this into my main branch via pull request it will create an another uh, merge commit also and along with it it will carry its this feature branch history so what is the problem here is when uh, when i merge the feature branch into a main branch it will carry the commits of this feature branch into a main branch and in most of the condition developer implement a new feature he don't want the uh, this unnecessary commits to be pushed to a main branch so, and uh, it makes more sense to keep only a one commit there for the pull request which will highlight what the change was about so for that i will tell you a second way which i follow in my day-to-day -day work and that's what is a and which is the efficient way to handle the git conflicts now in order to show you a second way i will intentionally again create a new conflict so i have changed this text here on line number six and i will commit this to a feature branch set it the same line on the main branch as well git commit and git push hyphen f so now with this change uh, we should have a conflict so i can uh, go to a pull request and uh, if I do a, a new pull request this time from a feature, I should again get a conflict. So there we go. I have the conflicts. I will create a pull request and uh, I will click on the create pull request. So I have a pull request and uh, there we go. I have the conflicts here. Okay. So now I'll tell you a second way, uh, which is I do. And there are some additional benefits with this way. In this example, it is very simple uh, use case where I have only one commit that has happened on the main branch. But in a real scenario, when multiple people work in a team, multiple developers, they push a changes to a main branch. And sometimes it happens that you're working on a feature, that feature, you are very far behind in the commit history and the main branch has been updated by other people. So that time you want to get a code from your main branch, you want to it in your uh, feature branch a current branch on which you are working and then you have to raise a pull request so for the same reason there are these commands that uh, you have to follow so let's do this so first thing ensure that you are on the feature branch and uh, then you have to check out to a branch uh, on which you have pull request right so i will check out to a main branch then i will do a git pull so with the git pull you have the code of main branch in your uh, feature branch so as you can see that i have this code of new g which was actually present on the main branch so uh, now you have to check out from your main branch to a feature so i will do that okay now uh, as you can see this line has changed as i have checked out to a feature branch so after that you have to execute this command this command is uh, very useful and this is where actually we are getting rid of that commit messages so we open uh we want to do is we want to rebase the commits you have to provide a branch name uh, for which we are going to take it as a reference for a rebase so in our case we have raised a pull request from feature to main that's why git rebase hyphen i main so editor code w git rebase hyphen i main this is the command so once i execute it i have a uh, editor open and uh, uh, there you have the history of commit so remember when you are doing a rebase you have to put a pick for your first message and then the rest of the commits you can squash so with the squash you can get rid of your uh, commit message that you don't need so i'll put a s here and it has to be a small s so what we are saying here is we want to pick this change nav item and these two commits uh, that has happened on the feature branch that we want to squash so actual case scenario when you work on the feature branch you have a lot of commits that you don't want to push to a main branch so in that case you squash that commits and you uh, make a only one commit so when you make a pull request when your feature branch is merged into a main branch then you have only one commit which is maybe for the change that you're working on and you don't carry an unnecessary history into your main branch so this is where you are getting a read of unnecessary commits so remember we had this problem when you do a normal type of uh, git resolution git concrete resolution that time you carry all the commit history and that is a problem so this is the efficient way that you can try 
you can do with this you don't carry a commit history of your feature branch into a main branch and uh, you just put only one message only one commit that represents what changes you did what things you worked on so after doing these changes you just have to save this file and uh, close the file is closed and it has automatically picked the things from pick the things from that file uh, now here we actually resolve the conflict so it is important to know current change and the incoming change what they point to so current change they are the changes of your main branch and incoming changes are the changes of your feature branch so usually there is a simple rule if you are raising a pull request you have a source and target the target are the the current changes point to a target branch and the incoming changes point to a source branch so in our case source branch is a feature so incoming changes are from the feature branch and the current changes are from the target branch so i will say incoming changes from my feature branch and i have dating history back here so with this i have uh, resolved the conflict and uh, in the visual studio code it shows that what are the merge changes here do a git add then you do a git rebase continue and it will again open your uh, x editor there you can put a change whatever you want uh, remember do not put any empty lines here in this file if you put empty lines then uh, git fails to parse it so remove the empty line see that it has successfully rebase it once you do that changes uh, and now what you have to do is you just simply have to push it to your uh, remote so i will do that with a git push if i, if I go to uh, remote now on my github so i can see that it no longer has that uh, conflict and i only have only one commit so unlike of the previous wave unlike of the previous method where i had a bunch of commits in this case i don't have those commits here and now if i merge this pull request i can uh, i will not get any merge commit is i just have only one commit and i don't see any merge commit was so the quick solution approach to handle the git conflicts in a better way without worrying about any problems of the git commit history i hope you enjoy this video if you have give a like to this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe us for more such interesting content thank you